Um, when we walked into the room before the panel, um, I heard the chair again repeatedly talk about maternal mortality. How, how can we go past those kinds of things, um, the medical infrastructure? Why are Nigerians flocking to India where we have the best doctors and the doctors are leaving? Um, uh, what can we do to maintain um, the medical infrastructure to keep our children at home? Uh, but beyond that, um, in, in 2018, I, I delivered the Nigerian Academy of Science lecture, media award lecture, uh, the nexus between science and the media. And I think it's important that economists, again, and the generality of Nigerians that are looking in the area of infrastructure, all the stakeholders and your own agency, come together to have this kind of organization again to talk about this infrastructural deficit so that everybody understands it and it is propagated through the media. Once people get on board for something and, and we try to make it a national issue and set the agenda with it, then we can begin to roll forward what plans the government has to move it forward. China and other countries have been sending their nationals to Europe to go and learn one thing or the other. We should be able to put a, a, an agenda in place where a hundred youth, very brilliant, they are bonded to go and come back. It's important that we look at good governance, we look at legacy of infrastructure, and we look at succession plan. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We don't do succession plan in this country. We don't do succession plan. There's no modern society that can exist without All the countries in Asia, China, um, North Korea, South Korea, uh, Japan, they all invested heavily in infrastructure. So there's no alternative. Secondly, there's a need to change attitude at various levels. As you mentioned, even the Nigerians who are the users, they also need to have a new that, okay, we did this and we, did, we are ready to pay for you commercial service for So that is what I want to observe. And then there's also a need, as I said, it's very important. All the arms of government, not only are they thinking, but the military, even the judiciary, they need to understand how critical this is so that everybody, with its own hands, everybody needs to understand that this, this is a do or die, at least an existential threat. To Nigeria. Unless we address it, so we have to have to say. Okay, my, my last word, very simple. Let the various government agencies responsible for making sure we have a robust economy. Let them sit together in the next six months maximum. Let them produce a transformation plan that brings out in detail how if you borrowed one trillion, one billion dollars today, show the picture how it can be used to transform the economy, the output, the outcome, and produce a plan with detail that is bankable. Nigeria will succeed. Nigeria must succeed. Nigeria can survive. It's what I call Tina. Tina means there is no alternative. There is no because that's it, Tina. There is no alternative. Every generation, like Transparent says, must out of relative obscurity discover her mission, fulfill or betray it. We are the infrastructure generation. We don't have any choice because we must leave legacies. A society will improve when one generation plants trees under whose shades he knows that he will not stand. It makes me feel very bad that Singapore. In the 60s, we had the same per capita income as Singapore. Singapore, with 5.6 million people, has the same GDP like us. Yes. Per capita income is a higher income country with no natural resource, resourcefulness. Look at Taiwan. Taiwan is an outcrop in the rock, in the sea. No resource, no oil, nothing. Taiwan has about the fourth largest financial reserves in the world. My dear brothers and sisters, if you go to the Ankari Games Reserve this evening, if you see a lion, 
if the lion knows he must run faster than the fastest gazelle, or it will do what? Die of a hunger. If you see a gazelle, the gazelle knows that it must run faster than the fastest uh, lion, or what? It will be dead meat. My dear brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter whether you're a lion or you're a gazelle or you're from Borono or you're from where. We are all Nigerians. When you wake up in the morning, start running to develop infrastructure in Nigeria. That infrastructure sufficient in Nigeria will be a Nigeria that the world will be amazed at, will create prosperity for all of us. God bless you. God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much. sectors in the economy and also to drag out some of our, our elders who would have been in the office at least let them have a change so thank you very much thank you, thank you.